Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick video to tell you about my experience shopping for a portable monitor. Maybe you're wondering, why would I need a portable monitor? Well, let's just say you go to Starbucks or you go to your local cafe and you've got your MacBook Pro ready to work and you've got your design fully open and then you suddenly realize that you don't have enough workspace to see some of those notes you were looking at, some client notes maybe, something on the side that you need to get to while also seeing your full screen design. That's just one reason why you may need a portable monitor. I couldn't decide which one to get, so I decided to buy four different portable monitors to see which one actually would be the best for my workflow. I'm gonna tell you about three different brands of portable monitors. One of the companies, I've purchased monitors from them before, they're called Innocen, and they're a relatively new brand. They make two versions of their portable monitor that's actually OLED. So I bought one each of those, a 4K and a 1080p version. And I also bought two others. One is from a company called Uperfect, and the other is from a company called KYY. I don't know where they come up with these brand names. So I thought I'd give my honest thoughts on these portable monitors and tell you which one I'm gonna keep and the reasons why I'm gonna return the other ones. So let's start with the two Innocent monitors. So the first one we have is actually a 1080p OLED panel. It's 100% of the DCI-P3 color space and with mostly all OLED monitors, it has infinite contrast ratio. It has 400 nits of brightness and it's factory calibrated. It has USB-C, mini HDMI, and comes with a really cool smart case. The things I like about this display, it's a very light panel. It's very easy to work with and bring with you. It's 15.6 inches. Um, and it's perfect for productivity on the go. And in my case, I also needed something that would work as a, a display that I could show to clients when I'm shooting photography in a tethered mode. When I, what I mean by that is my camera is tethered and connected to my computer. So each time I take a photo, they're seeing their headshot pop up on a screen. And so this acted as that screen so they could see their photo and instantly respond to the results. It's a great way to shoot photos and get instant feedback from your clients. So the thing, the thing I like about it is the color accuracy is phenomenal. It is factory calibrated, like I said earlier. You really don't have to do anything to it. As soon as you plug it in, it works great. The things I don't like about it though, if you plug it in directly to the MacBook Pro, it can only get to 20% brightness through the USB-C or HDMI. And in order to get higher brightness, you actually have to plug in a power brick to it. And that is one con that I saw. I, I really don't wanna bring an extra cable or an extra power brick with me. I just wanna grab it and go and not think about it. And so to me, that's a con that I can only get to 20% brightness. The next one from Innocent is a 15.6 inch 4K OLED panel. This one is 100% DCI-P3 as well with an infinite contrast ratio. It also has a built-in battery, which is interesting and is touch sensitive. It's USB-C, mini HDMI, and it also comes with that same carrying case. It's a little bit heavier than the 1080p brother that it um, shares, it has that same DNA and design. So it's very svelte and just very light. And it's just really a really slick looking design. I think if you have a space gray MacBook Pro, it matches perfectly with that because that is exactly the color. I really like it too. The 4K in a 15.6 inch OLED panel is really, really high res. It's, it's like beyond retina almost. The thing that's weird about it though is, and I don't know if this is just a limitation to OLED, is when you look at white, 
on there, you see this kind of graininess to it. And it, something about that bothers me. Other than that, I absolutely love it. The colors are fantastic and it looks really good. The touch sensitivity is kind of funky to me, especially if you're on a Mac. It's not the greatest intuitive design to have touch sensitivity on Mac OS. You can definitely use it, I guess, and move windows around if you want, but definitely I'm not a big um, touch sensitive Mac OS person. So with the two Innocent portable monitors out of, out of the way, the next one is KYY. And this one is also 15.6 inch. It's an IPS panel and it covers 100% of the Adobe RGB space. 400 nits of brightness, USB-C, mini HDMI, also comes with a case and is uh, 4K if I didn't mention that. So specs sound pretty good. It's very lightweight and easy to work with. I like it for the most part. The thing that really threw me off immediately as soon as I set it up was the colors seemed off to me. And even though it says 100% RGB, at least for my workflow, I'm really more of a DCI P3 workflow kind of guy because honestly, all iPads and iPhones are calibrated to DCI P3 and MacBook Pros and laptops. Um, it's just more of a universal color space to calibrate to. And unfortunately, this KYY portable monitor is not DCI P3. I mean, other than that, it's pretty cool, but the fact that it can't achieve that DCI P3 color space really bugs me. And if you're wondering, an easy way to see and figure out if your display is DCI-P3, there is a website that you can go to that will give you some images to check out that will tell you if your display is DCI-P3. And if, if you can't see some of those little subtleties in those images, your display is not DCI-P3. And I will leave a link in my description below on that website so you can go check your display out for yourself. So for me, the KYY display it's kind of a deal breaker. And I immediately, as soon as I plugged it in and started looking at it and trying to get the colors right, it was just not worth it to me. This next one that I want to share with you is, this is the fourth one that I looked at. It is U-Perfect and it is 4K. It's actually 17.3 inches. It's 100% Adobe RGB and P3 color. Bam. I was like, okay, this is pretty sweet so far. It's an IPS panel, 400 nits, 60 hertz. By the way, all of these are 60 hertz. Uh, HDMI, USB-C, and it also has mini display port, which is interesting. It's also VESA compatible, which is another interesting feature to add to some a small portable display like this. So what's cool is you can actually mount this onto a third party face amount display stand if you want, which is kind of cool. Um, it comes with this really nice smart cover and it's aluminum alloy enclosure is really nice too. The thing I really like about this one is it's just very professional looking to me. I love that it's just solid black with no branding on it. It's completely just ready to go out of the box. And for me, for the needs, specific needs I have, it's actually the perfect one, I think, for me. It gives me a little bit more space, and I like that it actually matches the height and just width feel of my MacBook Pro. It actually helps continue my MacBook Pro display, my 16-inch MacBook Pro. And so, for me, it just feels like a better continuation of my workflow because of that 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB and P3 color. It's just, I can't get enough of this particular display. It is IPS. Um, I do feel like the OLED panels are just, they can, it feels like they can get a little bit brighter to me when I look at them and really max them out. But like I said, I have to have a power brick. And like that one 4K display from Innocent that's OLED, it has a built-in battery, but man, that battery runs out real quick. And then you need to plug in a power brick to it. And that's just super annoying. I don't want to bring any more power, power bricks with me. 
And so for me, the one that I'm actually going to keep is the U-Perfect because even though it's a bit bigger and chunkier, um, I think it's the one I'm gonna keep. It's the best one for my workflow and the most professional looking in my opinion. Now, I think the, the second place, if I were to choose, I would actually choose this Innocent OLED display, the 1080p version. And I'll tell you why, it's because I can still power it off of the MacBook Pro just using the one USB-C cable and it because it doesn't have a battery in it. Even though I can only get it to 20%, a lot of times if I was out in the field, 20% was actually okay for um, the brightness level that it achieved. So considering I went ahead and bought all four of these, I'm gonna return the other three and keep the U-Perfect 17 inch. So let me know in the comments of any other brands or other portable monitors that you guys have tried out that maybe you absolutely love. Let me know what they are and, and maybe I'll give those a try. In the meantime, I have my affiliate links below for all four of these. Honestly, that, like I said, this U-Perfect is pretty sweet and this Innocent 1080p is also pretty sweet because this one is OLED. So definitely check those two out. The 4K Innocent one with OLED with the touch sensitivity is just a little wonky. Maybe in Windows it's a little bit better. I heard that you can actually use a Surface Pen on that, almost like a tablet. Maybe for your creative workflow, that's actually a better bet for you. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video on my thoughts on portable displays. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked today's video. Subscribe if you haven't already, which helps me get my videos out faster. And ring the bell to get notified so you know when I drop a new video. I will see all of you on my next one.